Today, we're gonna to be having a productivity showdown between these two keyboards, the Keychron K4 and also the Apple Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. Which one is better for your productivity needs? The short answer is, in my opinion, it's the Magic Keyboard. If you are looking for a portable device, if you are going to the office and you wanna take a keyboard, the Magic Keyboard is so much more portable than the Keychron K4. If, however, you are looking for a powerful typewriter experience and you don't mind having a much heavier, three times heavier, in fact, keyboard, then the Keychron K4 is a contender for you. The first thing I wanna highlight is the size. The Keychron K4 is almost like twice the size <laughs> of the Magic Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard is a lot thinner than the Keychron. And really, most of the Keychron size and thickness is taken up by the base of the keyboard. And actually, when I bought it, I was kind of surprised at how chunky this thing was. And that brings me to the weight. The Keychron K4 is about 0.7 kg. It's surprisingly heavy. It does have a decent weight to it. This is compared to the Magic Keyboard, which, when I picked it up, is kind of the opposite. It's, it's noticeably light. Is 0.25 kilograms. I mean, you can kind of just, you know, throw it around, right? You just throw it around. And then this, of course, brings me to portability. If you are going to the office and you want to take a keyboard with you, so you're using the same keyboard at home as you are in the office because you have a double screen at home and you have double screen at the office, there's really only one choice, and that is the Magic Keyboard. Because, you know, as you can see, it fits into my day bag, right, very conveniently. However, if I'm taking my Keychron K4, it's a massive thing to put in my bag. And also, if you know I just want to go out with a satchel, I can actually put the Keychron K4 inside a satchel. It's that small, it fits into a satchel with my iPad mini, perfect. You know, And it doesn't weigh anything, easy. You cannot do this with the Keychron K4. It's just too big. And then this brings me to noise. Because if you are taking your keyboard to a office environment, obviously noise is a factor. And the thing is, the Keychron K4 is loud. It is really loud. It is loud enough to turn people's heads to look at you. Let's do a noise test to compare both keyboards right now. Typing experience. Which keyboard has a better, more enjoyable experience when you type? In terms of typing, the Keychron K4 definitely has a much more typewriter feel to it. Keystrokes are much more definite, impactful, like you're writing something meaningful, click, 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 click. This is my essay on this thing, but it is a much more loud, you know, definite, assured experience. The Magic Keyboard, on the other hand, in my opinion, feels kind of like a gliding experience. And it feels like when you type on a MacBook Pro, a little keystrokes, touch typing, click, 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 click. It feels more minimal, to be honest, and almost more efficient and almost more productive in a way. Typing experience is obviously going to be something subjective. And if having a loud typewriter experience will make you write better articles, let's say, then maybe that's the best choice for you. For me, however, I'm more than happy with a lighter touch typey experience using the Magic Keyboard. And in terms of experience, there's also the element of customizability. So the Keychron K4 is famously customizable. It's used by keyboard enthusiasts. You can change the keys, you can change colors, and you can have these cool lights go on in the background that light up and do all these waves and different patterns and things like this. This is a pretty cool element of the Keychron K4. However, to be honest, I, I bought you know both keyboards for productivity. So I, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care that uh, it lights up and has all these cool things. And you know, well, I, I respect you know people that wanna, you know, customize their keyboards. However, you know, I have not done that. And I am more than happy with my uncustomizable Magic Keyboard. Touch ID. Having Touch ID on the Magic Keyboard is really convenient. It means that I can log in to my computer without having to open up the computer and, you know, like press the key again. And I used to have to do this all the time on my Keychron K4. I'd be typing away, I'd go make a coffee, I'd come back and I'd have to like, you know, reach over and log in on my MacBook Pro, right? But now I can just have my Magic Keyboard sitting here on the desk and I can just press unlock, you know, straight away, just like that. 
super convenient and also means like you know i can do things like close my laptop which is kind of cool you know more cool minimalist form factor on my desk so overall which keyboard should you get for productivity i'd say the magic keyboard it's lighter you can take it to the office you can bring it back home if you only have one keyboard i'd probably get this one the keychron k4 is just too heavy for me it's just too big Right, and you know, it takes up too much space on my desk. And if I want to take a keyboard to the office, I have to buy a second keyboard. And that is just annoying. In addition, the typewriting experience, that whole powerful typing thing, it didn't really appeal to me. And I don't mind having a much more touch typey, glidey experience, you know, when writing on the Magic Keyboard. That suits me fine. And you know, I, I, I don't feel like having this big click, click, click thing, you know, made me any more productive than just writing on a you know a nice little magic keyboard so in my opinion if i could take my money back and only choose one keyboard i would get the magic keyboard so anyway i hope this non-techy guide to this tech was useful um, if you'd like more videos like this i will be doing more videos on tech business life and more anyway my name is john and thank you for watching please subscribe